All right, I gotta find something to, some place to put my E2 hitch. So I got this hitch port storage kit. So basically, uh, you can, so it goes like that. You can either go underneath the trailer or on top of the trailer like so. I'm still trying to debate about how I want to do it. That's called the hitch port. So this is, you got the two different mounting. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to go top or bottom on that, uh, on that beam there. All right, so I think I'm gonna go on and go on this side. The other side has brake cables and other stuff over there that I just, you know, the, the seven pin wiring harness, all that. So we're gonna go over here. I already made my little punch. Punch me a little, little pilot dimple there and we'll go with this. Uh, the thing you gotta figure in is, you know, the back side of that hitch, you got the, got the hole. You still gotta put your pin and all that. So I wanted to have it where I can get my pin up behind it and lock it without having too much stuff in the way. And as you can see over there, I got too many brake cables and things. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, got the first hole put in. Got my smaller hitch. So the big old heavy E2. It looks like the smaller hitch right there. Tighten it just right about there. Looks like that should work. It's okay if it's just a little bit loose, but easier to get in and out. So uh did the pilot hole, now I'm uh, putting this uh, bolt in. Man, I tell you, I didn't say it on the first bolt, but whew, that's tough. All right, finally got it mounted. So I uh, already tested it with my small hitch, now I'm gonna put in the big hitch and see how it goes. All right, it works. Got it set up, got my little master lock on there. and Finally have a place to put this big old heavy hitch. Next, propane tank cover. Got this Camco brand RV tank cover. Should fit on my tank over here like so. And we'll get it put together. All right, looks like the two halves just a uh, clamshell on it. The instructions are pretty, pretty simple. However, the way they set this up from uh, camp, Camping world is not going to let me close my back shell, so I'm going to have to turn this sideways, I guess, so that will come up and out of the side instead of uh, north south on the trailer. All right, so I'm not sure if that was from Camping World where they mounted this or if that came from Forest River. However, it puts a lot of stress where that propane tank is mounted to the, to the front of the trailer there. So I uh, so I'm gonna have to remount this on the front of the trailer and then uh, fill up that, uh, caulk up this, the hole that they have for that screw. Eh, it's kind of frustrating. All right, finally got this, uh, this propane deal mounted. Uh, I took, ended up taking off that propane thing off the, off the deal there. I guess that's the regulator. Ended up uh, routing it up underneath and coming up from the bottom here. Um, so anyway, I, <laughs> you see my little, uh, speaker wire ended up tying that, this plastic down and, uh, still have access to the, as I was saying, access to the propane tank. So you can turn it on right there. Regulator, instead of, uh, going up against the, the wall here like it was, ended up kind of routing it down there. I ended up, kind of moves a little bit. I got it zip tied so it's not really putting any pressure on the bottom of it. It's just kind of free float between the tank and the thing. It's got a plastic cap over it so I can't see it rubbing or causing any problems. But if y'all see something, just let me know in the comments. All right, so the next thing we got is these Star Spangled three pack motion sensors. So I got one for each side of the front cargo, got one on the back. I like the soft light, which is that kind of a yellowish look. Not that bright white stuff kind of hurts my eyes, especially at night when it's dark outside. So these will go up inside the cargo bays. All right, these are just peel and stick. Uh, my buddy Barry's, he has his up in the front. They're built in his, in his Imagine. Um, so he usually puts them right here. At least his Imagine is in the front like that. So whenever it's at night and you open this door, it senses the movement and uh, kind of glows up the bay right there. Um, my concern was I kind of thought about putting it up against this wall so that it would shine down the cargo uh, bay right there, but eh, I don't think it'll 
it'll have as much benefit as it does right there because I tell you uh, when my buddies uh, we were doing a lot of work on the trailer trying to get it into a spot uh, on our last trip it was uh, it was nice having that light come out uh, and kind of actually lit up the outside of the trailer a little bit when it's up inside that uh, you know right there so anyway uh, we'll move on to the next one all right since we've removed the uh, the, the drawer we ended up getting our convection oven here and you know what I think I think I want the light to shine down I don't want it really shining in my face so uh, we'll put it right here on the top so at night it'll hopefully see the see the the door open and you know we'll have have light pop on as we get up in here and get our stuff oh we got our uh got our black stone in today uh that'll probably also go in here uh either before or after the convection oven i think i'll get another little retaining system like this uh like the everchill has uh with the, the little straps to go over the top and we'll strap down our stuff uh, I'm thinking that's what we'll end up doing, but I'm not sure yet. All right, here's our other cargo bay. Uh, didn't want it to label our fresh water and electrical stuff in case I send her to go find one. I can tell by looking through it, but she didn't want to get confused. And so we labeled it for her. All right, I think we'll put this one up in here as well. Way back up and there hopefully the motion sensor will pick up when this door opens or if an arm goes in there we'll uh, get that done all right so another thing we uh put in was these little cargo lights motion sensored so that pops up right there lighting up that cargo bay walk around over here Got one on this cargo bay, wave my hand, and it comes on. Super nice. Kind of lights it up. You can kind of see through to the other side, so that helps. And of course, I put one on this back one as well. Motion sensor that kind of sensed when I walked up, so anyway, those are pretty nice. All right, getting some caulking done. Uh, something to note uh, there's a little gap right here. They can uh, allow mosquitoes or whatever bugs come in from the cargo bay on the edges of this Murphy bed. So I'm fixing to fill that up with caulk and be done with that. All right, got uh, one side done, followed the same down, got the other side done. So no unwanted mosquitoes. All right, since I got the caulk out, I'm going to come in and go ahead and caulk up these little edges right there. There's a pretty good little gap right beneath that bunk right there. I just don't want any bugs to get in here. So anything exposed to the inside, all these seams, they're about to get cocked up. 